Hey guys, I'm back with another haul today from Bath & Body Works, of course, where else, and a few juicy new items that I was really excited to get, and it's the 350 Hand Soap, and they had quite put out quite a few new fragrances that I was really jazzed about, as well as the new Mahogany Coconut Body Care, so we'll get right into it. So yes, the Hand Soap. There is the entire like uh, Neutrals collection of Hand Soaps uh, that's out, and of them, they had Rose Lychee, or Lychee, apparently that's a hot topic on how you pronounce it, but apparently both pronunciations are acceptable by the way uh, so I'll intermix both pronunciations in this video uh, this one says wild rose sugared lychee and delicate raspberries uh, and of course this is the gentle and clean format which is without the sulfates parabens and dyes uh, and it seems like the majority of the lines are now gentle and clean which I'm totally stoked about because as you know I had written off Bath and Body Works hand soaps forever because the regular foaming one is so immensely drying for my hands so super excited to see those so uh, I bought two of these one for myself and one for my mother uh, the candle it is the same fragrance as that uh, the uh, fragrance I wish it was a lot rosier but there's still a floral prettiness kind of chilling in there mixed with a very like sugary sweet lychee lychee candy gummy action and it's really what this smells like so it is quite fruity but just a little bit as a hint of a floral extraness that makes it a little bit prettier that i enjoy um i think the the candles definitely just a lot more stronger and intense on the fragrance whereas this one's a little bit more mild when you go to use it but still the same fragrance nonetheless so there was that the one thing that does piss me off about this label is almost like they didn't get the margins um or the bleed or whatever right on this where like the the name goes like right up against the edge like that totally i feel like needs to be scooted over a little bit more so there's a little bit more of a margin here where the crease is oh my god it just like pisses me off but it is what it is uh, so there was that they also had bergamot and birch, the grapefruit and garden herb thing, and vanilla musk was in there as well. And so you know I love vanilla musk because this is a repackage of the marshmallow musk as confirmed by the ILN. And uh, I love this fragrance. But the soap, however, does not actually smell much like the candle. Uh, like this one has that awesome, beautiful, like sophisticated uh, marshmallow velvety perfumey quality to it whereas the hand soap kind of just smells like that same vanilla plastic barbie doll hair experience we get from the vanilla cloud hand soap fragrance so that one stayed on the shelf even though it was like totally ready to buy that so it's kind of uh bummed about that i feel like a lot of times there the vanilla fragrance oils for whatever reason and hand soap always kind of kind of like smell chemically or plasticky um and just not great so that one i did not buy uh i was then looking forward to the new aroma collection like the aromatherapy ones and there's like the neroli blossom and bergamot one that's apparently out in hand soap online but it was not in stores so i could not get that because that fragrance smells a whole lot like in the sun and i would love to have like in the sun in hand soap form but that was also not available uh so then that left us with getting the coco paradise i also got two of these one for myself and one for my mother and that's what that looks like this is the salted coconut manoi sugar neroli and bronze sandalwood this is like essentially hibiscus paradise 2.0 it's like a coconut floral fragrance with a little extra like you know juicy sweetness from i guess like a warm coconut and even like a hint of like a banana sweetness is kind of in there too a uh, very tropical coconutty and resort like so i do enjoy it uh usually the signature collection fragrances are quite strong i haven't used this yet but i'm hoping this one will be quite potent when you go to use it so i was super excited and this is also in the gentle and clean whereas a lot of times they put the signature one in the plain format so i really hope they're like phasing out the the old harshly drying bloody knuckle foamy hand soap formula and converting everything to gentle and clean so uh quite excited about that so it was 350 one day only using the coupon that you got in your email or on your app uh moving on i was looking for this because as you guys know i was raving about the mahogany vanilla pocket back in the last haul and there was the one remaining one that i couldn't find at that particular sto store and it was the peony and basil one right here Oh my god this is amazing it is a rather light fragrance but sometimes like the pocket bags can be almost too strong so i don't mind that this one's a little bit lighter but this is great it's like your beautiful like perfumey elegant robust peony floral perfume fragrance like uh like joe malone blush peony and suede levels of the juiciness i'm not saying it's a repackage of that fragrance but a similar floral perfumey vibe and without like that like so cheap plasticky greenness that we get in a lot of bbw peony fragrances like this could be a rose fragrance because it is so powdery and robust and oh my god i love it if you're looking for a beautiful 
peony rose floral experience in pocket back form kind of like rose water and ivy but less harsh and a little bit more pretty and delicate definitely check out peony and basil love that so that was i actually got two of these as well one for myself and one for my mom you can tell me and my mom have very similar tastes so that was that and then Lastly, uh, rather short haul today, we have the Mahogany Coconut Body Care. I was totally jazzed about this. So there's a bamboo and surf, which I didn't love that. It kind of smelled like that Capri Citron um, candle that probably no one remembers at this point. But it's just like that really crisp, clean, like ocean air, salty, clean fragrance to it. Kind of soapy. Didn't love that. Aloe and palm. That just left no impression on me. But I, I guess I would assume it's the same fragrance as the candle. And then citrus and cedar. I couldn't even tell you what that smells like. <laughs> but the one I was really excited about was mahogany coconut. And so I tried the cologne mist. Which is I think had a $15.95 price point. Which is better than like the... I prefer that over those like massive aerosol cans. That they usually do in the men's collection. So I was quite excited about that. But it does kind of perform similar to a fine fragrance mist. And the... In the sense that it's not quite as heavy or concentrated as a like cologne like an actual bottle of cologne that they do uh so it did kind of fade away quicker than their colognes do which even their colognes aren't the super strongest but the cologne mist was just pretty much like fine fragrance mist uh the mahogany coconut in the cologne mist kind of performs different from the shower gel which is what i ultimately ended up getting i did use this last night it was divine super strong and amazing uh this one says a creamy woodsy fragrance inspired by classic mahogany with a tropical twist so i used to forever hate the mahogany teakwood fragrance and i still don't love it singularly but mahogany and vanilla came along and like totally opened my eyes to like loving mahogany teakwood because that creamy vanilla just kind of took off the edge of mahogany teakwood action and for whatever reason, that had then finally like opened me up to enjoy mahogany coconut more. That I actually burned the candle, and the candle is super strong and intense and amazing too. So I do burn that sometimes, like too headache inducing. Uh, but the coke, the candle of mahogany coconut in this obviously are indeed the same fragrance. It's mahogany teakwood, kind of mixed with like like tiki beach basically. There's like a slightly creamy, tad floral uh, coconut element mixed in with mahogany teakwood and it really kind of does smell like tiki beach mixed with uh, mahogany teakwood and i love that and it's just as strong and potent in the shower gel uh the dry down on this differed from the cologne mist this one dried down to a really strong just like pretty much just got mahogany teakwood drying down on your skin after the shower is pretty much what i got from the shower gel but the mist on the other hand the mahogany teakwood kind of went by the wayside and i was getting more of that creamy slightly floral coconut is what was left behind uh but there's something about the mahogany teakwood fragrance that's kind of like nauseating and kind of like makes you just like sort of feel ill by how strong and like potent it is. And when I sprayed the cologne mist, I was just like, I feel like if I had this on all day and I was spraying it on my clothes and my body, I feel like I would really grow, grow sick of this fragrance. I don't know if I necessarily want to wear mahogany coconut as a fine fragrance. So I opted for the shower gel because it's kind of like... You use it in the shower, it dries down, and it kind of fades away. So that's why I did the shower gel instead, and I redeemed a reward on that. And that was the Neutrals Men's... I guess it's not really men's, it's just the Unisex Neutrals collection at this point. Uh, but they still, like, set it on the men's section, so it is what it is. But super excited about that. I just... I think Bath & Body Works, like, one of their greatest opportunities is the fact, or advantages, or, like... Uh, unique advantages is the fact that they can take their already tried and true popular home fragrance fragrances and then apply them to body care easily and the branding carries over the loyalty carries over and the fragrance carries over that it's like it's a, a great way for uh to like you know get people sucked into bath and body work because like you can have the body care as well as the home fragrance at the same time and i love when they do that so i was super stoked about seeing mahogany coconut and body care and i believe that is it thank you so much if you watched this whole whopping video let me know if you picked up any of these uh hand soaps if you tried out peony basil and if you're excited about mahogany coconut let me know all your thoughts down below and i'll talk to you guys later bye